Open up the box and remove the contents. You will first find the installation manual. Open the plastic package that the installation manual comes in and remove the green warranty card in between the pages. You will need to fill this out within 30 days of purchasing your AirDog fuel system. First start by removing the wiring harness. Then the black push lock hose. Remove the sub assembly box. This will have your air dog quick connect fittings as well as the cradle bracket that holds the pump. And then you'll have your two sandwich plates. These are the brackets that will go around the frame. Then remove the pump itself. We will now open the sub-assembly box kit. First you'll see the customer service o-ring kit, set this to the side. And you'll have the fuel return filler tee. You'll have some hardware. and then the plastic quick connect fittings as well as the aluminum fittings that will thread into the air dog pump. Bundle of zip ties, plastic spacer block, and the cradle bracket itself. Now that we have all of the contents unboxed, it's time to start the installation. Let's first start with installing the wiring harness. The part number is 5E-2 dash zero one zero dash H D. You'll first see the weather sealed relay. We'll need to mount this somewhere on the firewall. This is going to be our fuse holder. Fuse comes pre-installed. Then we will have the connector that plugs into the pump. This is a Metro Pack 280 connector. And then the eyelets, one will be ground, one will be positive. You hook it to either the battery or the alternator, depending on the application. And then the fuse tab. First start by removing the fuse box lid. Now we're going to install the positive and negative eyelets onto the battery. In some applications, depending on what your truck, you may have to hook your 12 volt power to the 12 volt outlet of the alternator. In this application we will be able to hook directly to the battery as shown. Now this next step is going to vary in all applications, but you can see in our scenario we're using spot number 45. You just need to locate a key on fuse. Once you locate a key on fuse, remove it, install it to the lower portion of the fuse tap, and then reinstall it back into the box. Don't forget to reinstall that back into the fuse tap or else whatever you remove it from is no longer going to work. Now that the fuse tap's installed, we can install our fuse box lid back onto the truck. Any secure place away from moving or hot parts will work, but we found a nice little ground stud sticking out on the firewall to mount our relay. Now we're going to take our Metro Pack 280 connector 
and run it down the driver's side of the frame rail, keeping it away from any hot or moving parts. Then take our excessive wire, whatever's left over, and zip tie it nicely. And then we're gonna slide it in this application right behind the fuse box. Now different cab variations will decipher how much of this wire you're actually gonna use. Now let's lift the truck up, get it in the air. Now that we have the truck up in the air, we're gonna locate a clean open spot to mount our air dog lift pump. First, install the pump into the cradle bracket. It's easier to remove the filters, but not necessary when starting all the bolts that hold the cradle bracket to the lift pump. Using the supplied hardware, mount the lift pump to the cradle bracket. Install a lock washer and your nut. Center the pump in the cradle bracket and then tighten it until the lock washer is completely compressed. We are now going to dry fit the pump onto the sandwich plates. As you can see, I'm determining which set of holes I'm going to want to use. We're going to use the second set from the bottom in this application. So I'm going to install all the Allen head countersunk bolts, lay the plate on its back, install the spacer block, install the pump onto the spacer block, We will install all the lock washers and nuts and then tighten the hardware until the lock washer is completely compressed. Now we can reinstall our water separator and fuel filter. Be sure to get these hand tight. Before we mount our pump on the frame rail, we're going to install our fittings. You can see me here now installing the outlet fitting. And this is the inlet fitting. The inlet and the outlet are both part number 08J204443 quarter UNF. And then now we're installing part number 06J2044716 UNF. Now we're going to mount the pump onto the frame rail. We'll take both sandwich plates, one on each side of the frame rail, then install the bolts and nuts with crush washers. This can be difficult to do. You may need an extra set of hands. Once all hand tight, tighten in a triangular pattern and we don't want to tighten these so tight that it starts to bend the plates on the frame rail just enough to crush the crush washers and then we'll be good to go.
All right, guys, now we're going to move to the top of the fuel tank. You can see here the quick connect fitting with the red locking tab in it. We need to slide that locking tab off to the side and then just pull it towards ourselves. Now, right now, we're standing uh, right in between the drive shaft and the fuel tank. It's a tight quarters there. But we'll get that pulled off there. And then up on the front of the fuel tank, there's another red locking tab where this hooks into the factory fuel line. I'm pulling that out. Once disconnected from the top of the tank and the front of the fuel tank, we can actually remove this section of plastic line. Now we're ready to start assembling our first air dog hose. We're going to start with the suction. So we're going to need two um, straight half inch quick connects. These are part number FQC12S. Before we push the fittings into the hose, we're going to just dry fit it. and just simulate basically putting it on the truck. Once the correct length is determined, we will go ahead and cut the hose to length. Then remove the hose and take it back to the bench to install our quick connect fittings. Lubricate with oil. Be sure to lubricate all sides of the fitting and the inside of the hose. Press down firmly to seat the fitting. You will also need to repeat this step for the other end of the hose. Lubricate all ends of it inside of the hose. And then press down firmly to seat the fitting. No hose clamp is required for these style fittings. Our suction line is now assembled and we can permanently install it on the truck. Install the suction line onto the top of the fuel tank and then to the inlet side of the air dog pump. When installing the fittings, you'll hear a loud snap, and then you'll know the fitting is correctly seated. All right, now it's time to measure the length of the air dog pressure side line. This is gonna be the fuel coming out of the air dog. We're gonna be installing two FQC-12S fittings. These are the same ones that we used in the suction line. Lubricate them good, and then press your push lock hose over the end of the fitting. It's gonna be two straights on each end as seen. And that's gonna be the outlet of the air dog. We're gonna loop this back around. And that's where it's gonna feed the factory fuel line. Should hear a loud snap, just as before. Now it is time to install our fuel return filler tee. You can see the arrows, these need to point downward into the tank. That little flap right there, that's where the return fuel from the air dog comes into the filler tee. Comes with two clamps. I'm going to clean it really good and then cut the filler, uh, the fill neck in half. Now that we have that cut in half, I'm going to take our clamps, slide them over the hose first. And 
and now we're going to install our filler tee. Once again, arrows need to go towards the tank. Before tightening the clamps, remember to point the neck, remember to point the male side of the T towards your air dog pump, and then tighten the clamps up. All right, now that the filler T is installed, we're going to measure for our return line. Just loosely putting it up here to see the correct length that we need to cut it to. Now that we have the correct length determined, we'll go ahead and cut that, and then we'll need to push our fittings on on the bench. Okay, we're now going to be installing part number FQC12S and part number FQC3890. Lubricate all ends with motor oil. Spin it in the hose a couple times and then firmly press down on it to completely seat the fitting. Repeat this process with the FQC12S on the other end and now the return line is completely assembled and ready to install. Plug the AirDog wiring harness into the AirDog pump itself. Now that everything is hooked up, it's a good time to zip tie all of the loose and excess wiring that you have as well as the hoses. You can see here we're using the supplied zip ties with the AirDog kit. We just want to keep these away from any hot or moving parts. Congratulations, your AirDog 5G is now installed. Now let's lower the truck down and fire this thing up. 